The Federal Executive Council has approved $1.5 billion for the rehabilitation of the largest refining company in the country, the Port Harcourt Refinery. The rehabilitation will be done in three phases of 18, 24, and 44 months. This formed part of decisions reached at this week's cabinet meeting in Abuja. Tai Amodu reports. The upward fluctuation in the price of petroleum products in recent weeks had increased clamors for the rehabilitation of the country's refineries. And now the federal government is taking steps to achieve this, starting with the Port Harcourt refinery. Funding for the project will come from three sources. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation's internally generated revenue, budgetary provisions, and from Afri Exim Bank. The Ministry of Petroleum Resources presented a memo on the rehabilitation of Port Harcourt refinery uh, for the sum of $1.5 billion and it was approved by Council today. The Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning also presented a memo to Council on the reviewed National Integrated Infrastructure Master Plan 2020-2043. It allows for the establishment of the National Council on Infrastructure under the chairmanship of the Vice President to provide policy direction and infrastructure related materials. There are about uh, seven uh, asset classes uh, that are contained in the master plan. This is uh, uh, in the areas of transportation, energy, ICT, agriculture, water and mining, social infrastructure, housing and regional development. Council finally approved the memo from the Ministry of Health, who presented a memo on behalf of NCDC Public Health Laboratory Specialists and for the Center for Disease Control. It involves six contracts for the purchase of laboratory equipment to the tune of 3 billion point seventy million naira to strengthen the work of the NCDC in various parts of the country. It is for six contracts for laboratory equipment and to the total worth of uh, 3 billion and uh, 70 billion 892,938 various equipment and supplies to strengthen the work of NCDC. The equipment purchased will establish the NCDC in diagnostics preparedness, not only for COVID-19, but for any other disease outbreak of public interest in the future. Tai Amodu, TVC News, Abuja.